Hey guys, KFX here with another League of Legends video, and this is part 2 of the Rise video, and I'm including this team fight again to, to see how effective Rise can be with stuns. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is that the last video, when I call it a guide, I don't know if people fully understand or understood what I meant when I called it a guide. I wasn't basically, I wasn't telling you how you should play Rise or how you should view Rise. I was just telling you how I play Rise and I find it pretty successful for at least me. But everyone's gameplay is different so find something that works for you and that's how you're gonna do it. Now there was a little people that, or a few people that were confused when I was talking about certain things about Rise. So I want to clear some stuff up about League of Legends and uh, I want to tell you how you can mainly be successful in League of Legends. Now the first thing I want to talk about is the debate between getting kills. Now there's a common confusion between people who play League of Legends, mostly the people who are at the lower end of the uh, player skill. But if you do watch this video, I hope you uh, learned something from this. Now the first thing, kills. Kills doesn't always mean success. Now, you may think that getting kills means that you're going to win the game. I can tell you right now that you won't. Kills are one of the least important things you can get in League of Legends. They're, they're helpful beyond any means, but just getting kills are, is not going to get you guarantee you a win. And now, my second thing I want to talk about is assists versus kills. Assists, in some fashion, are more important than kills. And because you can get all the kills you want, but your teammates can keep dying. But when you're assisting, when you get an assist, basically what that means is you, you're basically there for your teammate and you help your teammate get the kill. And it's very important that you get the assists. Unless you're a carry, when you're a carry, getting kills is, comes naturally. But when you assist your team, it's always a good idea, a good plan because, like I said, you it really just means that you were there to help your team out in any way you can, and that's why assists are so important. Now, the next thing I just want to touch base on is deaths. People view deaths the same way as they do kills. If you get a lot of deaths, that means you're not going to win. That's not always true. When tanks die, tanks are always going to die because they go in there just suiciding. At least that's how I play my tank. Now, getting deaths aren't necessarily total bad destruction of your team is what I was going to say but anyways getting deaths yeah it's not the best dying all the time and once you get to a few deaths it will affect your morale but don't worry about if you die you know just that's that's all basically I can say about deaths deaths aren't gonna lose you the game they're not gonna necessarily help you win the game but they're definitely not going to like have you lose because I've won games where I've gone 0 and 10 but then pulled it around in late game and then start doing better but now the next thing I want to talk about is uh, creep score now this is one of the most more important things you can do as an individual especially in the early game it is very important in League of Legends that you farm and if you don't know what farming means or if you don't call it farming, I'll let, this is what it means. During the laning phase, which is early game, whether you're in mid, you're in jungle, you're soloing top, or you're with your partner in bottom lane, depending on what champion you are, there are, there, there are champions that you want to uh, not farm with, especially if you're in bottom lane with another champion, but farming you want to get last hit on creeps because creeps equal money kills equal money but creeps equal a lot easier money especially when you're a champion that can farm really well the more you farm in early game the better off you in mid game which means the better off you are in end game if you can get a good over 100 creep kills in early game towards middle game then that that's good that's what you want let's say you're having a pretty struggling lane well, you want to necessarily uh, help your team out, that's always good. But in middle game, you want to uh, start clearing out the jungle to the best of your ability and start pushing lanes that no one else is in. So, 
creep score. That's very important. Now an another thing that's important is towers. And when I say towers, that's always good because that gives you more of the map control because that means that the enemy team can't fall back on their towers. Now, tier 1 towers, which are the outer towers, aren't the most important thing to get. But tier 2 are more important and then finally the inhibitor towers are really important. Now, if you're a team that are struggling and you have someone that can blow up towers pretty fast, have them like try to sneak around the enemy team, at least blow up a tower. But anyways, that's all I really want to talk about towers. And then the last thing I want to talk about to be successful in League of Legends as I run out of time here is your team ability. Now you want to have a team that works well together and not only personality wise and at attitude, you also want your skills to sync well together. You want to have CCs because that's always good for team fights. You want to have stuns because stuns help you uh, keep the enemy st stunned. But that's why team comp is so great and you need certain champions to uh, help you accomplish this. That's why Amumu's ult is really good and hard to counter. But there's always ways to counter stuns and I'll touch base on that uh, other ways, other videos if you want me to. And uh, besides that, just a little recap here. Kills don't mean everything. Assists are great because it means that you're helping your team out in any way you can. That's not that big of a deal. Yeah, you want to get as few as possible, that's always good. But if you're dying, don't get too discouraged. Creep score is one of the most important things because that gives you gold. And finally, towers. You always want to blow up towers. And your team ability, you want to have a good working team together. And they just surrendered. That means we won. My final score was 7, 3, and 18 assists. Now, the reason why I wanted to focus so much on assists is or are because as you can see I only got 7 kills and 18 assists so I was always there to help my team out but that's the end of this video guys thanks a lot for watching and let me know what you guys think and if you like this video like it and subscribe if you dislike it dislike it I really don't care but anyways goodbye and have a great rest of the day slash night whatever wherever you live alright guys I'll see you